Now, as I said, ASML will still have double digit growth in my opinion, but according to the CEO, uh, he doubts they will keep up their 30% growth. So I'm wondering how that will hit the stock. For that reason, I will not be investing in it. But what I am looking to, I said I will be looking at to some car manufacturers. I sold out of my Ford for a small profit. However, in my kids' account, I still hold Ford, even though he's up on it. And I'm looking at Hyundai. You may be wondering why. Has a PE of three, a market cap of 44.5 billion versus an enterprise value of 118 billion. Price to sales of 0.26, price to book of 0.45. I believe they can weather a storm with a recession. I apologise again for the car alarm as we are outside. But these metrics alone are not what steers me to it. What steers me to it is they have just released the new air taxi that they've been working on in secret. Now, when you think likes of Joby and all the other air taxi companies, how much they're going for when they're not profitable. And I have a couple, uh, some shares in these companies, but they're, they're spec. And they're pure play ones. And because I buy them when they're low and uh, I sell out my majority of my position, when they run up, I'm now holding three shares in them. Uh, mainly Lilium, L-I-L-M. But with this, you get an exposure to the air taxi market. And in the meantime, there's no risk of them going bankrupt because they will be using a small percentage of their profit from the car market and I think it's a, it's a good route to go down. Let me know your thoughts. I haven't bought it yet, but I am going to do more digging. And to end our video, uh, unless you haven't heard, not nice, governing body of who decides who gets authorization what company and what prescriptions get authorization on the NHS are not sold on Cascavi or the CRISPR treatment the issue with this is they do not negotiate, they either say yes or no, which could be a plus if you get if they say yes, but if they say no, it's very demoralizing. They don't give you a chance to come back for another year. Oh, you're okay, and and then uh, they have said they need more data before authorizing it. I will see how it affects the stock as I said I've sold out most of my position and uh, if it drops the stock uh, I will look to get back in although I don't think it will have that much of an effect on it but we you never know